Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's session is Electromagnetic Interference that is EMI. In this session, we will discuss what is EMI, what are its causes, then what are shielding techniques to prevent or to reduce down the EMI, then what is EMC that is Electromagnetic Compactability. We will also discuss the concept of Isolation Transformer. So let us start the session with this topic, what is the meaning of electromagnetic interference? So basically, we have studied different power devices. We know that these power devices are majorly used as a switching devices. So they are switched on and off at very high frequency. So in short, we can say the switching action is taking place at a higher frequencies because of which certain voltage transients are generated. So switching transi transients means जैसे मैंने बताया switch on और switch off कर रहे हम लोग power devices के case में high frequency पे तो transients मतलब sudden spikes generate हो रहे so these these are called switching transients these switching transients are generated by the power devices which is called RFI that is radio frequency interference now this radio frequency interference sets up electromagnetic fields EM means electromagnetic field so once RFI is generated it will set up uh, EM that is electromagnetic field and that field varies with respect to frequency it is called electromagnetic interference that means in short the electromagnetic field which is set up by the radio frequency interference changes with respect to frequency this is called electromagnetic interference this is the definition of EMI now how the transmission of EMI takes place that means how the EMI gets transmitted from one point to the another point so there are two techniques first is radiated EMI and second is conducted EMI in case of radiated EMI as the name indicates the, this electromagnetic interference gets transferred from one point to the another point due to radiation that means you can say due to induction not directly due to the conduction so radiated EMI in this case the EM that is electromagnetic energy is in the form of electric field and it occurs through the induction the same way radiation ke through it happens that means it happens through induction and it is not the direct conduction then second is conducted EMI as the name indicates this electromagnetic interference gets transferred due to the conduction process so conductive path directly from source to detector is developed and uh, through that conductive path the transmission of this interference electromagnetic interference takes place this gets transferred through the cables that we are using for different connections then PCB tracks we know that we are using different PCB tracks for designing purposes then due to effect of parasitic capacitance and so on so these are the two uh, things through which the transmission of electromagnetic interference takes place then what are the sources of radiated EMI just like I have told you two types of radiated EMI generate how it happens from which things the radiated EMI is uh, 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 getting uh, transmitted or getting generated so this is basically taking place due to use of mobile devices then electric motors then power transmission lines TL means transmission lines then SMPS switched mode power supply and in, in case of radar systems then sources for conducted EMI they are uh, DC to DC converters then SMPS then electric motors microcontrollers power supplies and so on so these are the sources for radiated EMI and conducted EMI next is what are the minimization techniques for uh, this EMI or the question may be like this how to minimize the electromagnetic interference we know that electromagnetic interference is some kind of interference that is taking place majorly due to high switching actions so there are certain methods available by making use of those methods we can reduce down the effect of EM uh, electromagnetic interference that is EMI so first is resonant switching you can make use of resonant switching we already discussed this concept in detail Resonance switching means it is basically uh, zero crossing switching in which we have studied zero current switching and zero voltage switching. So whenever current 
or voltage crosses zero line, then only switching action takes place. Apart from this, we can use the hard uh, switching also. Up to certain extent, hard switching can minimize the effect of uh, uh, EMI. What is this hard switching? If you use resonant filter, just now I uh, explained. If you use resonant filters, then it is called hard switching. But in case of inverters, even if by making use of resonant uh, filtering, even in case of inverters, again EMI, that is electromagnetic interference, might occur, might take place, it will not be totally eliminated. So use soft switching. Soft switching means make use of ZCS or ZVS. In case of hard switching, we are supposed to connect the hardware uh, uh, circuit which is acting as a resonant filter. So as, of, as we discussed, there will be still presence of EMI in case of inverters. So to avoid this, you can opt for soft switching. That means make use of zero current switching or zero voltage switching. Ye already hum logo ne dusre video mein detail mein uh, discuss kiya hai. Then another important thing, another important aspect to reduce down this uh, EMI is make use of shielding technique or make use of RF filter. Shielding means, see, there are different shielding techniques. As the name indicates, we can make use of certain material which will act as which will act as a shield and it will transmit this electromagnetic interference to the ground. This shielding materials uh, makes use of, say, it may uh, metal wires or metal foams and so on, which are used to transmit this interference to the ground. So, if there are spurious noise and electromagnetic interference then they are bypassed due to the shielding effect the sage diagram may dekha. this portion indicates the shielding effect so this shielding is connected to ground so if there is a sudden uh, um, uh, surcharge of noise or spurious noise or there is effect of electromagnetic interference then due to this earth connection ground connection this shielding provides a bypass path for such things then uh, we are using this filter lc filter at the input side so this is uh, also called RF filter, radio frequency filter. So HF that is high frequency voltage and current are suppressed by making use of this RF filter. So these are some techniques by making use of these techniques we can minimize the effect of EMI. Next part is EMC that is electromagnetic compactability. Actually as the name indicates it is the ability of a device to work under work properly under the influence of EMI that is electromagnetic interference. So it, it means if electromagnetic interference is present then what is an ability of a device so that it can overcome this EMI and work properly. So it is the ability of device to work properly in the presence of EMI. This term is called EMC. Now there are different EMC standards. So this EMC standards basically decides the terms of conditions, then rules, then test methods, emission limits and so on. So one of the EMC standards is FCC standards. I have uh, uh, written few values. First is the set for conducted EMI. So this is the maximum RF radio frequency voltage which is expressed in micro volt. Again, as per FCC, there are two classes, class A and class B. So the frequency of operation is mentioned which is in megahertz for example if i am talking about conducted emi then, then the standards for conducted emi standards set by fcc are if the frequency is 0.45 to 1.6 megahertz then for class a maximum rf voltage that is emitted is 1000 microvolt and for class b it is 250 microvolt if the frequency range is 1.6 to 30, then for class A it is 3000, for class B it is 250. This is the set for radiated EMI frequency, again same uh, parameters. Frequency is measured in megahertz. So if, the, it, if it is in the range 30 to 88, then for class A maximum RF voltage is 30 microvolt and for class B it is 100 microvolt. Again second set of frequency 88 to 216, 50 and 150. Then 216 to 1000, 70 microvolt, and for class B, it is 200 microvolt. So, this is about EMC and EMC standards. Next is isolation transformers. As the name indicates, these are the transformers used to isolate the power devices from AC mains. So, 
they are used to transfer electric power from ac power supply to the power devices while isolating the devices while uh, i mean keeping the devices away these are the transformers like a normal transformer it has primary and secondary windings and there is no physical connection between the two windings so this provides galvanic isolation that means there is no actual connection between primary and secondary winding so it provides the isolation now what is the need of this isolation transformer it is basically used to get the isolation of secondary windings from the earth then it can be used as step up or step down transformers like the conventional transformers and important advantage of isolation transformer is to reduce down the effect of noise now what are the applications there are different applications areas first is it can be used as instrumentation amplifier i mean instrumentation transformers to measure higher voltages because in case of instrument transformers if you want to measure higher voltage then direct measurement is not possible so using uh, using this uh, isolation transformer step down of voltage is done and then the measurement is carried away then it can be used in computers then measuring devices then p that is power electronic devices and so on it can be used as a pulse transformer as the name indicates rectangular pulses are generated after a particular interval so it is acting or it can be used as a pulse transformer then it can be used in computer network designing and so on so this is about the meaning of isolation transformer its need and application areas of isolation transformer so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video